Are you necessary? We, like, uh, are you that variable? Are you the X factor? Are you that secret ingredient that, look, this, this thing right here, it tastes delicious. But if I took out this one ingredient, it's, it's all of a sudden it's average. It's just like everybody else's. Like when, when you really, are you necessary? many years ago on VH1 or MTV or one of the music networks at the time, they did this um, special on Sean Diddy Combs and they were really putting a spotlight on him. And this was like, really take yourself back to the, the, the bad boy era when bad boy was on top, just running the music industry, putting out hit after hit after hit. So, you know, they, they were really looking at the guy behind the machine, which was Puff. And they had people from all throughout the music industry and entertainment really speak on his behalf, you know, rappers, singers, industry execs. And I remember one interview in particular, you know, they got to Leo Cohen. And for any of you guys who don't know Leo Cohen, please go and Google this man. This guy is a freaking legend in the music industry. And um, they got to, to, to Leo and you know, I guess, you know, they asked him about Puff and what his thoughts was. And Leo sat and he thought, and, and I got to respect him because he actually gave it some thought. And then he did like this little grin and he was just, he's like, that effing guy is necessary. And Leo talks with an accent and he's like, he is necessary. And I just started dying to myself because I was like, that was the best you could come up with. But when I really started to think about it, like I really sat and I was like, yo, damn, that is the best compliment that anybody can give you. Like, you know, when you really sit and think about it, like, are you necessary? Like, are you that variable? Are you the X factor? Are you that secret ingredient that, look, this, this thing right here, it tastes delicious. But if I took out this one ingredient, it's, it's all of a sudden it's average. It's just like everybody else's. Like when, when you really, are you necessary? And it, you know, brings me back to even my early days of coming up in the, in the industry and my first job in the industry was, was working on a street team. And trust me, at the time, I did not want to be on no daggone street team. I always envisioned myself working in the studio with artists and, you know, making hit records and being part of that creative process. And, you know, it was like, yo, the only position is, is on the street team. And I'm like, damn, like, who the hell wants to be a street meet? Like, I'm with, with the meatballs of the industry could, you know, and, and trust me, being on the street team has changed my life. But at the time, it's not like that was the most desirable position in the music industry. It ain't like you went up to a girl and told her like, yo, I'm, I'm, I'm on the street team. And, and she thought you was like really balling out like that. Even inside the offices, like at the record label, it was like, oh, the street team, they, they sit in the bullpen, like put all of them on that side. But I had to take these lemons that I was given I wanted to be in the game. This was my way in and I had to make lemonade out of it. So for me, you know, I had, and then I went back to an earlier conversation that I had with my friend many years earlier. And he told me, he was like, you know, Sean, whatever you do in this life, you kind of got to make yourself unfireable. And I started to think about that, you know, coming into the game. And I was just like, yo, you know what? This ain't necessarily the place that I saw myself getting in the game, but here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna go and I'm gonna switch the game up. I'm gonna raise the bar so high. I'm gonna make this street team thing, like I'm gonna take it to another level. So I started going city to city, state to state. And the thing that I didn't wanna do had really become the basis of everything that has really taken place in my life, even to today. You know, I was able to come in as an intern and, you know, move up to VP of, of promotions at the company. It changed my life. But the bottom line was I had to, you know, adopt this mentality. I, I wanted to be unfireable. I wanted my presence. If I, you know, was not there, the, 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 the company would notice the company would be like, hold up, something is wrong. Like, like, you know, we are not breaking records on the streets the way that we once did when this guy was around. I ask you, are you unfireable? Is what you bring into the table in any part of your life, 
Are you necessary? And if you can't say, yes, I am necessary. At my company, I'm unfireable. And don't get it wrong. Do not get it twisted. Everybody is replaceable. Everybody's replaceable. But you should position yourself that if, for whatever reason, your company needed to get rid of you, or you came in and said, look, I've been offered another position somewhere else. They would say, look, whoa, whoa, whoa. What is it that you want? What can we do to keep you here? Not that you can't be replaced, but finding somebody who brings to the table what you bring to the table, the value that you bring to this company, it ain't even worth the headache. I would rather just pay you more, give you the position that, that really um, inspires you to stay and we all continue to make money together. Are you necessary? You know, like, like, let's not get it twisted. You know, Steph Curry is very necessary to the Golden State Warriors. Like, this man is necessary. Russell Wilson, you know, he was a, he, he, he was a free agent not too long ago. Very, very necessary to the Seahawks. Like, they, you know, they was willing to, like, let me give you the max contract. Let me keep you happy, keep you here in Seattle because you are necessary to this organization. Can you say the same for yourself? Because that's what you should be aspiring to be. You should be aspiring that, look, if if I am removed from this equation, and, I'm, and I say this because I'm, you guys know I'm all about humility, and I'm all about keeping your head low and letting your work speak for itself. I'm not saying go out there with the ego that this company can't do without me. I'm just saying that is what you bringing to the table of value enough that somebody sees it and says, we need this person to stay here. We want to groom them so that they can move up in this company and eventually have leadership. Because if not, something is wrong. You're not working at your max performance. You need to step it up. You need to get in another gear. You need to do what you need, like whatever needs to be done so that you can put yourself in a position that you are unfireable or you are just plain necessary. And it's not just in business. Like, let's just keep it real. Even in our personal lives, like, you you know, so often us as human beings, you, you're with somebody for a period of time and, and you get lazy, you get content, you stop doing all the things that you used to do that helped you get this person. And after a while, like the person with the light bulb goes off. It's like, yo, you're doing nothing. You're not bringing no money into the household. You barely work. Like, like you're eating all the food. Like, what are you bringing to the table? And then, you know, and I can speak from a, from a guy's point of view. You don't never want to walk in and your girl is on the phone with her girlfriend. She talking about, I could do bad all by myself. You know what that means? You are not necessary. You can be replaced. And, it, and, and really... You are on a, a, a short leash because sooner or later, you will be getting notice that you are out the door. It, it, it's just common sense, guys. You can never, never take your foot off the gas. You always want to make sure that whatever position you're in, and I'm, you know, it, it doesn't even, just in life, right? God forbid any of us leave this earth anytime soon. You know, would your presence be missed with somebody? And I'm not talking about in your immediate circle. I'm talking about somebody that you have come in contact with. Somebody who, you know, you might not even be thinking of. If they got the news that you were no longer here, would it affect them in a way that they would, you know, just think about you and say, I just cannot believe this person is gone. This was the nicest person. Always had a smile on. If it's an old person, you know, this person held the door for me. They carried my garbage down. They did X, Y, and Z. And I am going to sorely miss their presence. You really have to think about these things in very basic terms. Am I replaceable? Am I fireable? Am I necessary? And if you can answer no to any of those things, I am not replaceable. I am not fireable. I am not, well, I guess in the terms of necessary, you know, you don't want to be not necessary. 
you got to make yourself necessary. Peace and love. Make every move a power move, and I'll catch you all on the next video. What's up, guys? Thanks for sticking with me to the end of the video. Truly appreciate you. If you like anything you heard here today, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. And if you know anybody that can benefit from this message, feel free to share. Peace and love.